Welcome to episode 2 of Leverkusen Legends. Let's just get straight into it because I don't think it's going too well, in my humble opinion. I need to move my face. Boing! Down there, right, anyway. So, <laughs> so if you look here, we've played 8 games, some teams around us have played 7. 4 wins, 2 draws, 2 losses. Not too bad, but I think it could have been considerably better. Maybe that's just me being really critical, but who knows? Bayern Munich have already played 7 games and lost 2 of those, which is more than they've genuinely lost in the off-camera stuff I've done in like 2 seasons. So. A good start to get ahead of them would have been nice. I mean, obviously we're nowhere near out of reach, but like, yeah, I want to be in these top four is the long story short. And I don't know, I don't think we've started that great. I'll get into the fixtures in a minute because obviously it looks all right, but we're just not playing well, you know? I guess it's easy to start with the fixtures to kind of explain what I mean, right? So you saw Union Berlin one all. I mean, it was deserved in the end as a draw, but like, again, we should probably be winning games like that. We then followed that up with a one nil loss at freaking Gladbach, which Gladbach are a decent team, but if you look at the stats, I'm pretty sure we weren't in it that much. Like four shots on target at home, really not great, you know? And that was then followed up by beating Augsburg, what, 3-2? And we won, if you look here, with Matthias Arizo and my tripod in the way. Arizo got two late goals, which is good because I was flagging him off a bit in the last episode. But why are we only managing to get a win in the last minute? Because as you see, we scored in the 76th, they scored in the 87th, and then Arizo won it for us. I don't know, in my opinion, we should have been doing much better than that. We had decent XG, but in terms of like shots, again, it was pretty even. We dominated on possession. Those are the type of games we shouldn't really be struggling. We should kind of be dominating, ideally. You know, like the Dortmunds, the Bayerns, we can struggle against a bit, sure. But like, not Augsburg. Speaking of Dortmund, we then actually went on to beat them 1-0, which is really nice. Because if you look at the stats here, on to my point of not playing well, right? This is bad. They absolutely destroyed us, but... I guess we had more possession, right? <laughs> we took our chances. We won 1-0. I'm so happy we got away with a 1-0 win at Dortmund, but we really did not deserve that. Um, every game we play, like watching the gameplay, it just feels so bad. And it feels like we're not in control and our centre-backs are not the best and our defenders aren't the best, but we'll go into that. After Dortmund, we played West Ham. We were winning 1-0 from Patrick Schick getting a goal, but then we threw it away. Ended up drawing one all, just to remind myself, there's been a good week. I'm pretty sure we weren't really in that game either. I mean, two shots on target. What, 20% of our shots are on target in that game. Possession-wise, decent, but West Ham played decent counter-attacking football by the looks of it. Not great. Like, I would have liked the win in the Europa League, but better than a loss, I guess, a draw. But anyway, <laughs> on to Stuttgart, the next game. Again, not the most convincing thing in the world. What, we're one up, threw it away again, and we've got a late goal. Like, late goals have saved us a little bit. Like, we could very easily be worse off than seven, is kind of my point. Then Frankfurt, 0-0. Again, not the greatest thing in the world. Why aren't we scoring? At least as a clean sheet, but like, I thought this team would at least produce some goals, maybe leak some, but if you're looking, it's just a lot of 1-0s or 1-0s. It's not the best thing in the world. Then beat Mainz, 1-0. Mainz. Again, like, we just don't seem to be having many shots. Maybe that's something I can tweak to sort that out a little bit, but this tactic normally works quite well for me, and it's just not the best. Outlined by drawing with Ludogrets, who, again, I remember this game because it triggered me. Like, possession-wise, happy days. First half was going quite well, we just weren't shooting, as you can see. And then they came on, had better XG than us in the end, and I genuinely think we were lucky to get away with a draw. Like, come on. If we look at our group, obviously it's still super open. There's only been two games played. We should beat Boda Glimt. Ideally, we should beat Ludogrets. So we'll be fine. But like, why are we struggling against these type of teams? That then leads us to Armenia. I'm not going to say that word for now. So I have no idea how to say it. We lost 2-0 very comfortably. It's just not good. Like, there's no consistency. Like, we're, even in the games we're getting results, it's just not looking great for me being the one that actually watches it, right? Speaking of this team, saucy little kits they've got here. Just a random side note. <laughs> But yeah, today's game will be against Bayern, but I'll go over some other stuff first. So this Bayern Munich game, if we win it, happy days. And we'll, I think we'll go on and actually start getting some momentum. If we lose it, it's not going to be looking great. And I'm just going to be fighting for like Europa League. But I guess we're only eight games in. Let's not be all doom and gloom. Someone I'll go over before I get to my excuses to why my team suck. Here's our signings. After the last game, we did bring in two more people. We've got Steven Bergwijn on loan, basically for free. We're just paying his wage, which is pretty decent. I will show you the amount of injuries we've had, but... It's good to have cover in all of these positions. He's a solid player. Played five games. 6.72 is not the best, but he's getting there. And then we needed to sign Luis Felipe, and I'll explain that in a minute with injuries. Actually, I'll just get into it right now. Mangala, I said I was really happy with his business. Good contract. Only for a year. You know, good cover. But she played one game and damaged crucial ligaments out for the season. So, yikes. That left us needing a centre-back. We signed Luis Felipe from Lazio, it was, yep. Yeah. 
for 10.5 million, which is a really good bit of business. He's a decent centre back. His stats look great. His value is great compared to what I paid for him. But he's either going to play ball playing, defend, or central defender, defend most likely. And the concentration, composure, and decisions are the only thing I'm really not happy about. Like when you watch him sometimes, because I'm trying to play out from the back, right? He's I don't think he's comfortable with that. But maybe he'll get there. Who can know? But in terms of outs, we just sold this guy. But boring. No one cares. And my face is probably in the way. Here, as you can see, Christian Sh is what he is to you, because you can't see it. But onto my excuses, right? <laughs> as you can see, we have quite a lot of people who are either mad at me, worried about Bergwijn taking his place, left out of Europa League squad, admittedly, right, I signed too many players, but we have so many injuries, so it's hard for me to register the right players, if that makes sense. I've either promised them that I'll just register them, which probably isn't going to happen, or, you know, just some little white lies, but the morale wasn't the best for a little bit, which obviously affects the results sometimes. As you can see, the cohesion's average. We're building up the support and the club atmosphere, so hopefully that improves. If we look at the medical center, onto our biggest problem. Obviously, I came into this series with a lot of injuries on this squad, right? Like when you load up the game of Leverkusen, they have injuries. But my god, even if there's not injuries, they are just... Look at all this high risk, very high risk, increased risk. Like. It's so hard to get someone either fit, because when they're, you're trying to get them fit, they have a knock, they get injured in training. Basically, every game I play, I get like three injuries, and it's so, so annoying. So if we look at our squad, my squad, if we go to tactics, you can see a lot of them, especially this portion of a million players. Terrible sharpness, the morale's getting there. I genuinely think morale has such an importance in this game in terms of the results you're getting, So like, and the consistency of the results, so maybe that's my problem, but... Hopefully we'll get there and the injuries stop being so consistent, but yeah, they happen a lot. I'm sure you'll probably see one today, to be honest. Other than that, we're pretty much up to speed. Something I will show you quickly. If we're looking for positives, right? At least we're the second highest possession in the league. Nah, nah. I'll show you where we are XG-wise, because it ain't great. I thought this was interesting, this little XG table, right? So it shows you our position, which is 7th, and it thinks we should be around 11th, which I would say backs up my point to how bad my team are playing. Let me see if I can check the defensive stats. This isn't what I was looking for, but this little version of what I just showed you here kind of explains it better if you don't know stats that much, I guess. So it thinks we should have around 9.5 goals. We have 8, so somehow we're doing worse than that. It thinks we should have around 10.4 points. We have 14, and it thinks we should be 11th and we're 7th. So if anything, we're getting lucky, and we're lucky to be 7th, which backs up what I was saying. So I'm not just super critical just to give myself credit for no one talk about it, even though I'm the one playing the game. Anyway, let's move on. Babbling, as per usual, my boy. I guess, long story short, I just need my players to stay fit or get fit, because quite literally at the minute, unless that happens, I don't see us getting better, and we definitely don't have money this season to make us better unless we sell someone for a decent amount of money, and I don't know who that would even be. I'm very much looking forward to Tap Sober coming back, wherever he is. He's gonna hopefully make our defence look a little bit more calm at very least, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But that does take us to today's game against Bayern Munich. This will be the team. Hideki in goal, Luke Thomas in left back, Felipe and Tara at the centre backs. Maybe you'll see what I mean about my centre backs, but as you can tell, I'm not confident of <laughs> centre backs. But anyway, Sambia at right back because Frimpong, where are you? You've been injured. I mean, high risk of injury. Let's just not risk it. I can't keep risking injuries. Aranguis at ball winning midfielder, Demo Bay. Deep line playmaker, Diaby Alvarez in the wings, Verts down the middle, and Schick up front. In terms of my goal scorers, I'm really not sure who's my best option because they're either they either get a couple of games and not score for five games, and that's basically it. They're just inconsistent. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Well, Dortmund are looking quite good this year, and I'm the only team that have beat them and they've beat everyone else. So silver linings. I mean, I think Bayern have been very hit and miss this season, but I'm not confident to say the least because Bayern Munich have always destroyed me in Football Manager, especially when I manage in Germany. With my inner team, I beat them. Fun fact, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Obviously, they have a really, really strong side. Lewandowski, arguably the best striker in the world. Start with some early encouragement. I'm going to play balance for now. I'd like to think, because we're at home, that actually helps us. Let's get an early little highlight for us, please. Oh, some composure at the back. We never see that. Please stop passing around the back. I, I'm not confident in you. You're confident in yourself. I mean, I really feel like this is going to be their highlight. Disguised or not, Diaby's away. Get the ball in. I'll take a penalty if that's a penalty. Oh, don't build me up Buttercup just to let me down. <laughs> oh, I've actually got a penalty. Who is my penalty taker? I have no idea what your penalty taking is like. Please be good. 1-0 early on would be great. Yes. I, I honestly expect to lose this game, and I kind of still do, but at least it's given us a fighting chance. 1-0. <laughs> Gone the wrong way, silly boy. Threw his head back to... 
All right, one nil. I don't know how. Oh, I do know how it was a penalty, but like it's lucky, you know. We're doing all right in the first 20 minutes. Bayern Munich not really getting a touch of the ball. Well, this has been the only highlight of the half. That's our only shot on target. I'll, I'll take that. As boring as it is for content-wise, I'll happily take a 1-0 win with no more highlights. <laughs> Point to half finger. I'm happy with your passing so far because that always seems to get them going. I'm going to leave the team as is for now. Alvarez playing terribly. Diaby playing terribly. I mean, I'll highlight again. I don't really know what happened there. Chick had a bit of a 50p head, missed it at the back post. I mean, I'm, I'm just happy they're my highlights because I can't concede if they're my highlight. 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 Our gone, Alvarez, playing a bit better actually. Fertz looks very tired, so mm -mm, what do I want to do? Bergwijn can play down the middle for now. I don't want to change too much because they're playing quite well. Let's just say have faith in you. I mean, with touch wood, you can hear that. I'm not going to say it because we'll end up conceding. Diaby, I mean, good idea with a pass. Good ping by Arangues, get it in Diaby please. What's happened there? Was that a shot? I hope, I mean I guess we didn't concede but was that a shot? <laughs> I mean our XG is looking significantly better than it is in any other game. I'm going to waste some time with the sub. I will sub off Arangues for Andridge because I actually rate him to be honest. Schick's having a good game but I want this Alario to do well for us because his stats are good. So let's just hands on our hips, he loves that. Apparently he doesn't because he didn't respond. 13 more minutes guys, just to hold on. I'm going to be that guy and waste time frequently because why wouldn't I? 7 more minutes. How is Bergwijn injured? I told you it's an injury. Right, Diaby overlap. Diaby again, get the ball in, big noob. Oh, bad pass. Come on guys, you've been pretty good this... Get the ball in, I'm just babbling, please cross the ball in. Bergwijn, how have you missed? Oh, I feel like we've missed too many chances. As I said, you've seen an injury because potential fire injury. I mean, he's definitely injured. Let's take Alvarez off and let's put Sink Raven on just because time wasting. A couple more minutes and we get a 1 0 win here. Okay, five added minutes. Love that. I mean, I am pleasantly surprised. <laughs> and my defenders played quite well and I was slagging them off. I mean, the XG looks great for us. Still can't really shoot on target as was displayed in some of those highlights, but I am pretty happy with that. Bayern Munich are having a very bad season, I have no idea why, because generally normally they're like unbeatable, but that is a result we really really needed, and hopefully propels our season. <laughs> Outstretched arm. You certainly made our doubters chomp on their words. Like that. <laughs> I'm actually genuinely pumped with that. I mean, this is my point, like I just said, with always having the niggling injury so he's never going to get fit. He's only appeared off the bench, fun fact, I didn't remember that. That leaves us with the Bundesliga looking like this for now. We've played a game more than them, but I'll be ahead of them for now. 5-2-2 two two is not so bad. I think what I was saying there about us not looking comfortable, the defence looked right, but the attack looking comfortable was kind of evident. We didn't score an open play, but happy days. We won. A, we beat Bayern Munich, and I really, really did not expect to, so I'm more than happy with that. In terms of when I'm going to come back, because I actually haven't played this game in like a week, so it's kind of hard to remember what's been going on. I will come back here after the transfer window. Hopefully we go on quite a little run here and we can either be in contention for some silverware or well, bare minimum we can just have some fit players and some more faith in our team. <laughs> but I think that was a good episode, you know? I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm going to save it because my computer has a lovely tendency to crash when something good happens. So, happy days. Confirmed win. Fourth in the Bundesliga for now. Let's just push on from here. That'd be really nice. Get some fit players. Happy days. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I will be back for that Dortmund game next week because I'm going to stick to one a week for now. If I can do more, I'll do more. But as I said last episode, life's getting pretty busy. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you watch this, you can leave a comment and let me know. You know, feel a frisky. But <laughs> anyway, I'm babbling. I'll see you next time. Toodles. Why are you still here? <laughs>